Today I'm gonna drink some tea with y'all. This is a world. This is a world premiere. This is a world. So I missed y'all. We're gonna continue with the page to stage series, and you guys are gonna get to spend some time in rehearsal with me later on. Uh, I'll probably be posting those videos tomorrow, and I hope you guys have been enjoying what I've posted so far. You guys are seeing from really the first stages of rehearsal, so you know the actors are just getting up on their feet, and you guys are gonna see pretty much straight through. I'm gonna start posting videos weekly though. So in the tradition of one of my favorite YouTubers, Cat Black, I'm gonna offer you some of my brutal honest tea. So yeah, a lot of folks from Vegan Gaines's channel have been showing up to leave comments and they're interesting. I hear these things, I mean, first of all, Vegan Gains, I really, really am sorry that that's the type of viewer that, you know, is coming to your channel because they probably are raising all kinds of hell on your channel and probably keeping the conversation pretty limited. I'm sure people with dissenting opinions probably don't feel that welcome to express them if the comment section on your channel is as hostile as some of the comments that have been coming in my direction. I have certain words flagged because I just don't think if you're using language like that, it's something that needs to just be popping up all over the channel, kind of polluting the channel. But you guys can let me know. Should I be flagging things like faggot and nigger and, you know, cunt to keep the content a little bit more user friendly? Now, I'm not gonna say that I'm not affected by the things that people say about me, but I'm certainly not affected by, you know, bullshit. Yeah, I, I think it's, you know, a shame that someone only has that to offer, but clearly, you know, I'm, you know, 51, you guys. I've been putting myself in the position to be criticized for a very long time. You guys, if you saw my video about my, you know, fabulous sex life, I talk about the fact that I identified as a girl for much of my childhood, which opened me up to a lot of criticism. I wrote my first play when I was eight years old. I was subjected to that criticism. In fact, the first time I appeared on a stage, I was six. Someone came up, up to me after the performance and told me that their mom was watching me and thought that I was retarded, which is really interesting because Vegan Gaines calls me retarded, which, you know, to me is more of a sign that he's just not sensitive to the fact that there are some people who have different cognitive, different mental abilities, their brains work in different ways, and those people are often labeled things like crazy and retarded. If he doesn't understand how those things just perpetuate these stereotypes that certain people are less capable or less valuable than others, then, you know, that's up to him. Especially as someone who identifies as having mental issues himself, you would think that he would be a little bit more sensitive to that, but I think ultimately it reflects on him more than other people. It certainly reflects on those supporters of vegan gains who come to this channel and that's how they want to engage. It shows me that, oh, that's the kind of audience he's building. That's who's being drawn to his material. That's why I don't do that. I don't want people like that necessarily hanging out on my channel. I try to create a space that's different than that. Also in terms of criticism, you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a performer. I get out there, I put my body on the stage for people to judge in the way that they will. I've been sitting in a theater and heard the person in the seat next to me criticizing my performance in a play that they had seen a month before. I've been trashed in the New York Times. So yeah, I feel like I'm made of stronger stuff than to be adversely affected by, you know, criticism. What I will say is I really commend the people who are coming from Vegan Gaines's channel and are actually on my channel in my comment section, really trying to debate the issues, really talking about the subject matter. Regardless of the opinions of those people, I really want to express my gratitude for really stepping out of your element, coming out of your safe space, say on Vegan Gaines's channel where everything is kind of the way you expect it and everybody is thinking in that sort of way. And you're bringing your thoughts into this different forum where people aren't necessarily gonna be agreeing with you and people are really sticking out. The comments section has been just popping with a lot of really, I think, valuable discussion. 
Of course, while all of this is going on, we might be on the brink of something really, really bad with Russia. I hope that all of you have been just following the news, continuing to follow current events. Interestingly, after I made, uh, after I had actually confused what was happening in Turkey with what was happening in Venezuela, it turns out that what is happening in Turkey is kind of happening now in Venezuela. Regardless of that, Hugo Chavez is still dead. I miss you guys, I miss talking to you. I want you to know that everything is cool. Clearly my eyebrows still have not grown in. I still plan to make that series of videos looking at the sources that were presented in several of the videos by Vegan Gains, talking about Black Lives Matter and Islam. Look for those videos starting in the coming weeks. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto,